it ends with great honor and be on behalf of your team and the steering committee that I present to you the 2007 Commitment to Excellence Award. podcast with Thomas Howard, the on? man in the house. Man, we in the house, man. Celebrate Justin Fargus' commitment sequence, man. And that's just, he's definitely uh, the epitome of the award. I mean, uh, a guy that goes out there and gives it his all every Sunday. I mean, doesn't complain in the locker room, has a great attitude, never late to anything, you know, always workouts on time, meetings on time, a positive spirit, you know. Like, like he said, he leads by example. He does that. He's, he's the kind of guy where you think about when you go out to practice on a Wednesday or a Thursday, who I would say, hey, man, you're nicked up, man. Okay, take it easy on Wednesday and Thursday. Cause we need you on Sunday, you know. He's going to give you his all. I mean, he leaves the game with a with a busted elbow or, or, or a bruised knee or something like that. And walking off, bleeding somewhere out of his body. Comes back next Sunday, you wouldn't even know he was hurting like that. So... I mean, my hat goes off to him, man. He's a guy I look up to my, myself. Yeah, he gets punished pretty good. He gets punished. We see him out there. Well, you get punished a little yourself. You deliver a little punishment, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the better side of that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the guy to go out there and want to hit a guy like that. But, um, I mean, I enjoy my job. I mean, what more could I say? I enjoy going out there playing in the silver and black. I didn't really know what it was all about growing up until I actually came out here and played at the Coliseum. And I really couldn't think of a better place to play than to play out here in Oakland in front of these fans. I mean, the Raider fans are something like no other. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I went to college at Utah. We had a, a, you know, a strong fan base, but nothing like this. I mean, from Oakland to New York to I'm in Hawaii doing some Pro Bowl events. And this Raider fans out there, I'm like, man, they're everywhere. I mean, I just love the whole nation. I mean, you guys have our back through thick and thin. And I know this year we're going to get it done for you guys. I know you guys have been there for a while. You want to see us back on top. And uh, we're, we're, we're headed that way. No doubt we're headed that way. Well, we love watching you. We saw you in Miami. Did you see all them fans out there in Miami? Yeah, I did. No. I did. We also saw Philip Rivers. His eyes fell out of his head <laughs> when you caught that ball. I know. What would you think, man? What were you thinking? Well, that play, I could take you back to that play. We were running one of our mini zone coverages, you know, designed by Robbo and his team. And um, actually, I think it might have been Warren Sapp or somebody was after, uh, was after Philip at the time. And he had, he had a receiver coming across the field. I'm just kind of sitting back in one of my zone covers, just kind of reading him, reading the quarterback, reading the receiver coming into my zone. And he made an ill-advised throw. He made a bad throw. But I made him pay for it. That's what you got to do. Whenever they make bad throws, make them pay for it. I made him do it. So 
made them pay for it with six. So and we loved it. And I celebrated the whole way to the end zone. And we you know loved it, man. We loved it. it great good. job. You're a Raider fan. You're a Raider. You're a true Raider because yes, you play with heart, and the fans love you. We love you, man. I'm telling you. Appreciate it. You got the right heart for this job, and we can see it. Appreciate Thank you so much for Thanks the for interview. We appreciate no it, brother. Problem, yep. Thank you. Here we have the man. My favorite player on the team, nice. and I'm telling you right now, the man, the personality of the Raiders going on right here. Coop, tell us, man. What's I'm up? doing good. I'm here at my boy Jay Farg's, uh, you know, his little honoring of the commitment to excellence. It went great. I mean, everything was awesome. The fans showed up, coaches, players. It was it was a special thing to be a part of tonight. And you know, we 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 love the prediction of the Devin Hester situation. I just want to know next year, you ready to be on fire? Uh, just like I predicted, Devin Heston not going anywhere. Uh, I'm predicting a relapse of what happened in uh, Carolina when John Fox came in first year. One went, we went like five and whatever. The same kind. Of, uh, Kiffin came in. We went. We won five games. Had real close games. That next year in Carolina, we went to the Super Bowl. Now I'm not saying we're going to the Super Bowl, but we will have a winning season in 2008. There you go, man. You got it right here from the and coop tell, himself. Yeah, same thing. Just like the Devin Heston, I'm telling we're having a win winning season this year. You know, you are the torpedo. You are the front man on the kickoff. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. They're afraid of you. I see him already. Well, well, the, there's good and bad with that. The good is you get to blow people up. The bad is teams start scheming for you, and then you get blown up. But, you know, it, it's give and take. That's how the game goes. I, I love it, though. Uh, we love seeing you, man. I'm telling you right now, we appreciate you. You are a true Raider. We yes, want to see you I am. for a long time. I am working on my contract right now, and I will be a Raider for the rest of my NFL career. There you go, man. Nice. <laughs> and thank you so much, man. You are the man. I appreciate favorite. it. And I'm telling you, the fans love you. They well, love you. I'm going to tell you what. The fans make this game, man. And uh, once you embrace that as a player... You, you're, you just, you can't do no bad. I mean, you just, you got to appreciate what these people do for you. I mean, not only are they there during the bad times, you know, we had a couple rough years, and these fans have not gone anywhere. In fact, they've got even more. You know, it's not a fair weather bunch out here, and uh, if you're going to be a player out here, you got to pull it up and produce, because these fans will let you know if you're doing bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know it here. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but who do you get to talk to tonight? Uh, I talked to Thomas Howard, uh, Robbo, uh, Rob Ryan, um, Coop, uh, Justin Fargus for a little bit, got some pics with the cheerleaders. This is a event that I encourage everyone coming to uh, this next year. Every penny I spent to this event, it was worth it. Well, there you go, man. You got it right there. This is the event to be at. This young man came here all the way from the North Bay and just saw a whole bunch of Raider players, a lot of great fans, good food, good friends. You can't beat it, man. This event is an awesome event, don't you think? Yep. And look, there ain't no buttons missing here out this coat. Check it out. You're looking damn dapper, I'm telling you. There you go, Chris. What you gonna do, partner?